I just moisturized my beauty guru yet. I'm gonna try and do videos at a normal angle because I've been re-watching my vlogs and it's just real uncomfortable when you're this close. Also, I'm gonna try and film in better lighting conditions, but you know, it's 3 a.m. We work with what we can. I want to do a mini haul because I've received stuff in the mail. The first thing I got sent, Penguin Teen sent me a blankie. And I don't know if you know, but I live by the fluffy blankie and my room colors are white and maroon so i have a white blankie this corner says books are home and it's just so cozy i've been cuddling her and this is the most generous gift i have ever gotten from them so thank you penguin teen the whole theme of a blankie and books are home is because they're promoting gail foreman's new book which is called i have lost my way once again thank you for this finished copy penguin it's about three strangers who meet in new york city it's about love and loss and stuff <laughs> and not only did i receive this i also got this neato little thingo pour your heart out a journal to inspire your thoughts and dreams i'm not a huge fan of like pre-made journals where like you fill in stuff but <sighs> we're gonna do a flip through because this is the cutest thing i've ever seen okay i know i got this book for free but i would not be putting so much effort into showing you it if i didn't think it was amazing first of all the art it's half quotes and half stuff that you fill in it's hard to film with one hand but like the graphic design of it is gorgeous and some of the things like has someone spread a rumor about you have you ever told a rumor about someone it's just so beautiful and i'm sorry i can't do like a full flip through and show you everything but it's i'm definitely planning on keeping this and doing stuff with it because wait oh my god what was that Oh, it's so pretty. Okay. So shout out to Penguin for sending that my way for free. And then I also received another book from them. It's Jacqueline Woodson's If You Come Softly, which is the 20th anniversary edition. And sadly, I haven't heard of this book. This book is pitched as an interracial Romeo and Juliet type love story. It's super short. I hear it's really good. I read the foreword for this in the first chapter and the foreword by itself is talking about like how many people this book has touched and all the fan mail she's gotten about it. And it was just made me emo. So I do want to read this someday and see what that's like. Big shout out to publishing companies for sending me stuff because it's really sweet even though I rarely post. I started Warcross on audiobook while I was doing laundry and I listened to like an hour of it out of 11 hours. I don't know why I requested that book to review because I don't like sci-fi and just like the whole video game thing like I'm not a gamer I don't particularly care about it so I'm just like I can't get into the world and I don't care so I don't think I'm gonna finish it nothing against Marie Lu I love her to death I just don't know why I tried a sci-fi book and I don't like sci-fi I'm probably gonna end up rereading this for a third time but you know whatever oh I forgot I'm wearing makeup I have to take it off before I go to bed <laughs> the day is April 4th technically the third but it's 2 a.m. I've been doing a thing where I just start a million books and I put them down and I've tried reading new things after a story movie, but none of them worked out. I read that one book, Raps Rhapsodic, Rhapsodic, <laughs> and I'm just trying to binge read trashy new adult romance books. I'm just like, I need something that can help me move on. I started Clan of the Cave Bear, which is like a prehistoric 600 page book about cavemen. It's such an info dump. I don't know if it's because I'm in this reading slump or if it's because it's not a good book but I just got like 50 pages into it and was like oh my god. Then I tried to continue Burial Rites by Hannah Kent which I had begun before Restore Me. That didn't happen. And then I finally just decided heck it and I picked up Sideswiped by Leah Riley which is new adult and this is the second book in a trilogy about a girl who goes to Australia. It's fun and light and happy so I think I'm just gonna stick with this. I just really want to reread. The thing is I don't even want to reread Restore Me. I just want book five. Okay, bye. It's been a minute since we've talked. I'm sure you deserve an update. Let's ignore this bra in the background. Today is Sunday, April 8th. I keep being like, none of my assignments are due until the end of April. <laughs> it's getting to the middle of April. I've read a couple of things since we last talked. Where did I put them? I've been reading all weekend instead of doing my assignments. So I've gotten a lot of stuff done. So I finished this one and I gave it like three and a half stars. I really love the OCD rep and I like that these books talk about new adult topics that usually aren't confronted in regular new adult books. This and Easy by Tamara Weber are my only two recommendations for new adult because they're healthy romances. And I like that this book also talks about more taboo subjects that a lot of young adults experience like waxing and masturbation and other 
stuff that goes along with sex but no one actually talks about. Although the writing style of this series can sometimes make me want to bash my head on a wall because it tries to be quirky and funny every single line and I'm like just stop. They're really decent. So if you need something quick to fly through, I finished the second book in like two days and I've read most of the third book today and I'm on 196 pages out of like 260. I'm gonna finish this tonight probably. They're just a good time. This book focuses a lot on the main character's OCD. I can't speak to if that rep is accurate. As far as the character having anxiety and talking about being in a relationship with someone who has mental health issues, it's gorgeous. This one's probably gonna be my favorite out of the series. But in between those two books, I decided I wanted to get back into audiobooks, so I picked up Of Fire and Stars by Audrey Cole Thirst. This was sent to me by Gryffindor Books, so thank you if you're watching this. I got this because I posted on Twitter I want to read more femme slash YA books that aren't contemporary, or not even YA books, which just femme slash lesbian anything in general but I'm not so into contemporary and this is one of the main ones that was recommended. It's two princesses that have a love story. It was really enjoyable. It was a really good audiobook. The world is kind of generic, like there's an elemental magic system and it's these kingdoms that are all fighting one another and it just wasn't special. Nothing about it would stand out from other fantasy books, but the characters in this book really drove it forward and I was rooting for my girls. <laughs> I think there's gonna be a second book in this duology and I'm just pumped for that because I can't wait until they actually start like using magic magic and delving into that rather than the whole oh I have powers but I can't use them trope. It's annoying. I'm really into the fact that this world confronts different gender stereotypes and talks about women's place and men's place in kingdoms and ruling. Obviously romance between two girls is unconventional and fantasy and I just really liked it. Okay read this. I'm sure anyone who's recommended femme slash fiction has probably mentioned this but Hell yeah. I've been researching more lesbian fiction books to try and read some. There's literally none that aren't contemporary that sound interesting. So I'm just like, where, where's my fae lesbian book? Snap, snap. I just had dinner and I feel like a gumdrop stuck to the sidewalk on a hot day, unable to move. I open the glass door. The sun faded store logo feels like sandpaper on my skin. Pawn in big blocky white letters hangs above a counter made of showcases proudly declaring this place the place to sell memories for spare change. The door shuts behind me and the aroma of abandonment fills my lungs. If time had a smell, it would be this. I can hear the gunshot of the musket displayed proudly in the glass case to my left beside a tightly folded flag. It becomes apparent with my second step forward that wars fought in other places come here to die, and I know I'm in the right place. Is this thing on? Hello, friends. Sip, sip. Bone apple tit. It's been a couple days since I've updated you. I just edited the current clips I have for this vlog and I'm like, huh, <laughs> that's out of date. It's April 13th. Warner's birthday is in 11 days. I'm updating you even though I haven't read jack shit because I have to go work on an assignment now. But I want, well, you know, it's because I'm wearing makeup. <laughs> I guess I do have an update for you. I'm currently reading the sec- I'm currently reading the second book in the Rhapsodic. Is that how you say it? That's really embarrassing for me. It's gonna be a trilogy, I think, and the third one's not out yet, but I'm reading the second one with Mahana. Did I say your name right? Shout out to Mahana. I'll link her Twitter down below. We read stuff together. She roasts me about it. Basically, the series is like fey porn. It's like the Lifetime Movie Network version of Akamath, except not quite as cheesy. It's a series about a girl who's a siren, and she's with her mans, who is a like fey king of the night court. Imagine Imagine that. The first book was good, but not like great. Honestly, I'm really liking this book more so than the first one. The first one just made me like feel the cold embrace of death every time I opened it because every page it was just cheesy and lacked depth and description. This one, I can see a lot more of like the characters in our workings. I'll talk about it a lot more when I finish it probably, but I just wanted to update and say it's going pretty well. But I'm just a hot ass mess and so I have like four books I've marked as currently reading on Goodreads. I'm still somewhat of the way into Clan of the Cave. I'm 32 pa- Really? I feel like I've read this for hours and I'm only 32 pages into this book. If you've read this, please let me know if it's worth continuing because this hoe is 500 pages, mass market paperback, tiny words. I'm a little bored. I heard there was gonna be porn. I have not gotten to the porn yet and I'm on page 32, so snap snap. I've also mentioned this already in the vlog, but it's a book about this Icelandic woman who committed a murder and now they have to keep her in some weird citizen's house before 
before she's executed for who knows what reason. It's gorgeous. It's just dense. And like I said, I have monkey brain right now after Restore Me. I just want to read smut and trash. And this is a little too good for me right now. <laughs> I don't deserve this quality. And then I started another book that I thought was just gonna be like trashy, easy for me to consume. And it's turning out to be a little above my level at this moment. But I started Vox by Nicholson Baker, which I mentioned in my last book haul vlog. This is a book that's told entirely through a conversation on a phone sex hotline and it's just this guy and this girl's dialogue with absolutely no inner monologue connected to it or actions it's just them talking back and forth i got 26 pages into it out of 160. it's interesting so far it's not like explicitly disgusting like you'd think it'd be it only ever mentions sex in like innuendo i wanted to read this because i was like oh it's gonna be trashy but i think there's a deeper moral to it than that and that's we're not here for morals and meaning we're here for meaningless smut and fay porn. That's gonna be my big mood for like the next two months so if you want to hear a lot about me analyzing books and telling you what the best meaningful books are of 2018 it's not gonna happen. I'm trying to get through some book any book just give me a book for me to finish and I'll try it. So I'm currently reading like five books I think I've told you about them many times so I decided I'm just gonna finish the one that I started first which is the one that's gonna take most effort and I'm typically someone who's like if I'm not enjoying it put it down but I know the mood I'm in if I say I don't enjoy it put it down I'm gonna DNF everything I start so I'm gonna push through and I'm gonna skim read when I need to but I'm gonna do it so we'll see if I finish this finally I don't think I updated you on this but I started an audiobook I picked up layer of dreams by Libba Ray I don't own the second or third book in the series but I loved book one and I want to continue it before I forget what happened. So I picked it up on audio because the audiobooks are really good. I'm like five hours into the 20 hours of the audiobook. That's going well. Even listening to audiobooks though, I will get to a certain point of listening to it where it's like I ran out of stuff to do while I listen to this and if I do anything more strenuous, I'm not going to be absorbing it. So I have to stop. But I'm listening to like an hour of that per day, reading like one page of this per day. We're finding a good cranny to vlog because I don't want to vlog in public. Now I can hold up a camera and not be embarrassed. And our good friend Poe. Yes. How do I gesture? Yes. That's Edgar Allan Poe. And he's even giving a thumbs up. <laughs> I'm in town for the weekend. I don't think I've updated this vlog in a hot minute. I'm home this weekend. We're at Recycled Books in Denton, Texas. I should probably give you a tour of this when we're done, but I wanted to introduce you to a friend Hi. that I met up with here. Introduce yourself. Shout out your own channels. I'm Kim. I don't have a channel. What's your Twitter? What's your Instagram? Uh, Hotel Pasties. Show them what I made you get today. Oh, yes. And what the witty novels was that? <laughs> witty novels, that's such a book pusher. <laughs> we just hung out. I got a book. I'll haul this later. I'm so sweaty. I don't want to take it out right now. But we're just having fun at a bookstore. I wanted yeah. you to introduce you to my friend. One friend. <laughs> Got it. You fit such the aesthetic. You have the mugs, the books, the glasses, the sweater. <laughs> It's just a good, colorful time. Music, no, that's DVDs. I climbed this staircase three times, to, twice, three times? Wow, what's up? It's just so cool. There's little nooks and crannies and expensive books. Oh wait, I want to read that. Customer Damien, we're ready for you at the buy counter, Damien. Damien, we're ready for you at the buy counter. <laughs> Can't believe they have a restore me section. That was fast. You can't really tell how tall we are though. Oh true, we need like a normal person. <laughs> <Just> stand be <laughs> beside us or stand under there to see how close we are to the actual sun. All I do is sit inside, yeah, oh lord, that last long day she said goodbye. Well lord, I thought I would cry. She'll do me, she'll do you, 
she's got the kind of loving. Lord, I love to hear her when she calls me sweet. Daddy, daddy, such a beautiful dream. You don't have to unfollow me. I already unfollowed myself.